All right, guys. So you're having this issue with your DJI Avada, which are flying, you're using Rocksteady. The images still kind of look a little shaky. You want to fix them, so you download Gyro Flow. And Gyro Flow is supposed to be pretty easy, drag and drop, help you smooth out your footage. But for some reason, once you you put your footage in there, it says that there is no gyro data or there is no motion data. On the left side, where it has the video information, where it says contains gyro, it says no. And that can be super frustrating because you want to get your footage looking crisp and clean. In this video, I'm going to give you some solutions. They should work. I get your pain. Here are some problems that you're probably running into, preventing you from being able to use the gyro data on your DJI Avada. So one of the things that you'll probably be running into is that you have the stabilizer on. And so where it says EIN, you have it selected as Rocksteady. So what you need to do is disable the Rocksteady and make sure that there is no stabilization. And then the second thing is I did this the first time is I went flying and I had it on Superview. So Superview will cancel out the gyro data. So what we want to do is we want to turn that on to wide. Do those two things you're probably gonna have the problem solved but here's the problem that i had is that my firmware wasn't up to date and so where do you find out where to get the firmware well you gotta connect your dji avada to whatever computer system you're running and you gotta download dji assistant 2. here's the thing that most people are doing i made this mistake to you but this is super frustrating because there's a ton of different ones for a bunch of different aircrafts and what you want to download is uh, the consumer drone series if you want it for your dji avada because the fpv series will not work it'll work for the goggles it'll work for the controller will not work for the actual drone itself so once you connect it to the dji avada make sure that you have enough power out of the batteries to be able to turn it on and have it updated now you're going to want to update your DJI Avada, you're going to want to update the, the controller, and you're going to want to update the goggles. Make sure everything is updated, because if it's not, there's a possibility that it won't load the gyro data onto your footage. But here's the thing, all of a sudden my controller wasn't working, and I did everything, I binded it, I did everything that I knew I was supposed to do, because I set this thing up before, but it no longer works. Well, guess what? The recent firmware update has a remote identification and that remote identification means that you're gonna have to have your phone hooked up to your goggles. So your DJI Fly app has to be open before you can even take off because of the whole remote ID thing. So finally solved that issue, went on a flight, put it in gyro data, and now I have crisp footage and the headache is done and gone. And I hope that this information helps you out if you're struggling with this too. If this helped out, comment down below. Just say thanks. Peace out.